Last question. Uh, I couldn't let you go. We got to get one Kevin Durant story. I mean, we're talking about maybe the best, second best, third best basketball player on the planet. You worked with him for a year. I know that he he loves you, your staff, the University of Texas, where you obviously were previously to uh, the University of Tennessee. But when I say Kevin Durant, uh, you got one good story off the top of your head where he took over a practice or where I, I don't even know what it would be, but you would probably you probably have a couple that you've told through the years. Well, the, the, the one of the best stories was, uh, uh, you know, we had lost everybody. We we had it rolling pretty good there, as you know. And then once we lose Aldridge, uh, Tucker, we we lose them all. Graduation, we, we lose so many guys. You know, uh, Roy Alivey, all these guys. Uh, we lost everybody. We had four players coming back, and only one player, only one player was uh, uh, coming back and had played significant minutes. It was AJ Abrams. We had signed a great class with, you know, with KD and, um, KD and DJ Augustine, Damian James, uh, Justin Mason, um, Dexter Pittman. We really had a good class of guys coming in. But I didn't, I didn't have a clue. You know, we, we really had one player coming back and, and we ended up going to start four freshmen along with, um, AJ. We weren't sure how it all worked out, but two weeks in the uh, practice, the official practice. I got a call from Sam Priscilla, who worked for me, but he, you know, now he's, you know, at ESPN. And he called me, he said, Hey, how's your team? I said, I don't know how our team is, but I will tell you this we've got the best player hmm. in the country. He said, you, He said, You mean the best freshman? I said, No, <laughs> we've got the best player, period. I said, I don't know about anybody else, but this guy's going to have to play 35, 36 minutes a game. And he wanted to play 40. And, uh, but you know what? Being around Kevin, pe- people don't realize one. He would give up. Well, I-, I hope they realize it now that he would give up every individual player of the year, this, that, or whatever. And um, to to win, that's all he ever wanted to do is win. But you'd be shocked how many times we had to tell him we need you to take this game over, hmm. and uh, because he 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 would always defer to his teammates. I mean, he just wanted everybody to be a part of it, and his teammates loved him. He's a great teammate. But he, he is a guy that, you know, he talks about where, where guys like Kevin Durant mess you up as a coach is that once you once you have him and you have other guys that don't work as hard as he does sure. and he's as talented as he is, you're looking at guys and say, hey, we've had a guy like Kevin Durant who is ultra-talented, but he's also maybe arguably the hardest worker we've ever coached. Wow. And you don't you don't get it when other guys who aren't as talented and aren't willing to work as hard as he worked because he worked hard every day in practice. He wanted to, we were on him about his defense when he first came in. That was important. And uh, but you know what he said? He said, "Hey, help me get better. I want to be coached hard. I want to be." He, 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 he was, there was not ever you could never put the word prima donna with Kevin Durant. He was anything but that, and uh, he wanted to get better every single day. He, if he didn't play well, as soon as he dealt with the media, he'd go right upstairs if we were at home to the practice gym and start hooping, you know, playing. And we were on the road. I mean, he would want to come back and literally get off the uh, bus when we unloaded there at, the, at our practice facility and, and want to go up. And actually had to tell the coaches, if he's going to do anything extra and above what we're doing, you guys can only shoot free throws with him because he's going to be worn out by the end of the year. He did get tired. Don't get me wrong, he did, but he rode us. We, we rode him hard, and uh, you know he got us to the tournament. And we lost, I think, Southern Cal because they did a great job. He averaged 36 minutes a game and, uh, for us, and um, he got every player of the year award, and I tell you, he deserved every one of them. 